Hi everyone, my name is Nathan and welcome back to Green Lions TV. Now a couple weeks ago some big news had been leaked but I had never made a video about it because I wanted to see how people would react to the news. As most of you probably know by now, York 9 FC have been considering undergoing a potential rebrand. Obviously, this sparked discussion amongst fans ac across the league because it was a hot topic to debate. As of yesterday, one of York 9's biggest supporter groups, Generation 9, came out with a statement saying that they were against any sort of rebrand. And uh, Green Lions was soon to follow with a statement of their own, sharing their concerns. Now for myself, the purpose of making this video is to inform people and try to provide as much reasoning for why both sides might have the type of opinions that they do. What you choose to take away from this video is the least of my concerns. So to really understand what's going on, one must look at York 9's history and the past season they had. Last year, you could argue that York 9 didn't have the type of inaugural campaign that they had hoped for. You look at the squad we had, and I most definitely thought that we would do a lot better than we did. But also, York 9 struggled to sell out York Lions Stadium immensely, ending up having the lowest attendance levels in the entire league. Clearly something was wrong, and I guess the natural thing to do next was to try and solve all the problems that they had. And so far, I can say that the new managing consultant, Angus McNabb, has come in with a fresh mindset and done a really good job overall. They've looked at multiple new ways to try and thrive as a team and an organization in a really mature market here in Toronto. You look at the new idea for Friday night games to ensure that our games don't clash with neighboring MLS team Toronto FC schedule. There were also some many plans to improve the match day atmosphere, which obviously with the current pandemic, many of us have made to wait. You even look at the squad and the type of players that the team has brought in. They're really, really good, which I think we should all give them credit for. Now all those were great moves, but there was one last big hurdle. The team name, its identity, and its colors. I've encountered similar issues here on this YouTube channel. The, t the name York 9 is just a really hard thing to market. York 9 is the only team name that I've ever had to explain to someone. Having a number in the team name just makes it so much harder for people to understand because numbers aren't commonly associated with football teams. Also, as much as we've grown to love the club, I think we can all agree that even the colors are very difficult to work with. I don't know about you guys, but I find it very difficult to pair an electric green jersey with some of my other clothes. I guess the whole reason behind why the team is thinking of a rebrand is because they want to fix those issues. They want to make it easier for people to understand our team and what we're about. Also, in statements that Angus McNabb has made recently, you can clearly see that his plan is not really to move away from the original identity of the whole Nine Stripes. He actually really likes that idea. He just wants to make it easier for everyone to relate to. I personally, when I heard the York, York Nine name, I didn't really like it. I was hoping they would go with a York FC or a York United. Having a team called York 9 and marketing it to the only nine cities in York region, it kind of becomes exclusive for people like people around the in the area. I'm I myself am from Mississauga. I'm not in the I don't live in the cities that York 9 right now claim to pull support from. I live in the general GTA, which a lot of soccer fans probably come from. So I can understand why they're, they might be looking to rebrand. Now there's another whole side to it of why supporters groups like Generation 9 and Green Lines are maybe against a rebrand. You could look at the low attendance numbers and you could say that did the team last year really do a good job to try and push the team and try and get people to the stadium was the team name really that big of a deal maybe not did the team put out posters did the team 
put out advertisements do they put out create content try to bring in an audience last year you could say that they didn't really do that and also groups like generation 9 and green lions they've built up their organizations and clubs and all around this idea of nine stripes and where york region you look at generation nine nine is a huge thing in their their name generation nine so if york nine gets rid of the nine what does generation nine become just generation probably not so I can see why also supporters groups are pretty upset. They want the club to focus more on those marketing issues, focus more on improving that match day atmosphere, focus on the issues that really do contribute to bringing in real soccer fans. This whole rebrand thing could be looked at as an attempt to bring in casual fans, which a lot of supporters groups don't really want. We want P ultras. We want passionate fans to come to the games we don't really want to become like some clubs in europe where people come just on a business meeting or come to the games for a company day out we don't want that we want fans who are in the stands who are passionate about the team and really care so there's two sides to this argument i personally i'm just a fan of the club i don't really care whether the team is named York 9 or York FC or York United, I'll support the club no matter what the name is because I really like the idea. Their, their, I really like their culture and what they stand for. I don't care about a name, but I can understand why some people are pushing to get rid of the name or some people are pushing to keep the name. It all depends on what you choose to take away from all of this. So I really want to ask you guys, what do you guys think? What are, can you guys please put some, put some comments, get in this discussion, help me gain some perspective of why you might think the way you do about this whole idea. But yeah, guys, I think that's where I'm going to end off this video. I, I think I've done a pretty good job. I, hopefully you guys can comment on that of providing both sides and reasoning for why one t one side might feel the way they do but at the end of the day that's up to you guys C continue this discussion it will only help the team try to figure out what their fans want so yeah thanks guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video